Boys and girls, on our Sunday morning services, we have been looking at Paul's letter to the Christians in the city of Rome. And there's one more talk which I hadn't got done, which I want to do now. So to complete this wee series in this letter to the Romans. Back in the Second World War, boys and girls, when indeed the Allies, that's the, the British and the Americans, the French and others were fighting against the, the Nazis in Germany. Many people died. But one of the very sad things in that war was that millions of millions of Jews were killed in what is called the Holocaust. Many Jews were killed by the Nazis. Who were the Jews? Well, think back to the the Bible. Think back to Abraham, who God called, and then he had a son called Isaac, and then he had a son called Jacob, and Jacob's name was changed to Israel, and he had twelve sons, and from Israel came the children of Israel. Remember how they were in Egypt, the time of Moses, and then God rescued them from Egypt and led them to the Promised Land. And after many, many years, the children of Israel came to be called the Jews. And the Jews were a very privileged people. They were, Paul says in his letter, how they were chosen by God. They were not chosen because they were greater than any other people or stronger than any people or better than any other people. He chose them because he wanted to have mercy upon them because he just loved them. And he chose them for some very special purposes. He chose them to be the people who would have his word. And indeed, boys and girls, all the people who wrote the Bible were Jews. Moses, David, the prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, they were all Jews. Come to the time of Jesus, all of the apostles were Jews. Peter, James and John. Think of the apostle Paul who wrote so much. Of the New Testament. He was a Jew. So from the Jews came God's word. They were very privileged people. They had wonderful blessings. In that indeed. They had the word of God. They had another tremendous blessing. As well boys and girls. Because a man and a woman. Called Joseph and Mary. They were Jews. And do you remember how they had a baby? Who would be really special? Jesus who would be God's son, he was also a Jew. And so the Jewish people are the people who had God's word, are the people who Jesus the Saviour came from. He was a Jew. But, sadly in Jesus' time, most of the Jews rejected Jesus. Most of them didn't want Jesus to be their Saviour or to be their Lord. And so he was crucified on the cross. It was the Jews who wanted this to happen. And so Paul, in writing to the Romans, and you can read about this chapters 9 to 11, he says the Jewish people were like branches of an olive tree. The olive tree being God's people. But the Jewish people, so many of them, were like branches that were cut off. And they were cut off so that other branches from a, a wild bush could be attached to the tree of God's people. And what he is talking about, boys and girls, is that Jews were cut off for a time so people from many other nations, many other countries, could become part of God's people. These other people are called Gentiles. We are Gentiles if we're not Jews. That we could be brought into God's family. New branches brought into the tree. Now, the question is, does that mean that God does not value the Jewish people anymore? Well, Paul tells us that because of the patriarchs, that's people like Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, because of the promises he made to them about their family, God still loves the Jews. And boys and girls, today many Jewish people are coming to trust in Jesus as the Messiah, the promised Saviour. And you know, we want to pray, boys and girls, for the Jewish people indeed to come to trust in Jesus. But... They are the children of Israel. But the Bible teaches us that if we come and trust in Jesus, well, we are part of Abraham's family. We are part of the people of God. 
in a real sense, we're part of the children of Israel as well, if we come and trust in Jesus. So think of the story of the Jews. Suffered so much at the time of the Second World War. But what is even sadder than that, and as bad as that is, is that they wouldn't trust in Jesus and have been cut off for a time. But we want to pray that in God's mercy and power, they will come back to trust in Jesus. And you make sure, boys and girls, that you too will trust in Jesus also to save you from your sin and to be your Lord and Master. Amen.